Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today Jessica is going to be joining me because she woke up early from her nap and she doesn't want to sit in her swing all alone, so she's going to be right here. So I hope all of you guys had a great Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you guys. I wanted to start off the new year by doing a Q&A video and over on Instagram I asked you guys if you had any questions for me and I got some good questions so I'll be answering those in my video today. So let's get started. All right, so I got my questions right here. And first question is, love your videos, thank you so much. Is it much harder having a second baby with a toddler, having my second next month? Well, congratulations. It's not much harder. It wasn't much harder for me because she's not like, she's not a super fussy baby. She, Of course she has her days. I feel like she's a little bit more fussier than Sammy was, but also, it's because my family helped me out a lot and also my husband's family. They would take Sammy, they'd kind of like take turns and take him for a few days and then he'd come back to us for a few days. Um, so with that help, it was, it was kind of easier to transition into this mother of two thing. <laughs> so it wasn't that bad. I think that, that from zero to one kids is way harder. And the reason why I said that is because um, when you don't have any children and then all of a sudden you have a child, it's a huge, huge life change. When you have a second baby, you already know exactly what to expect. You know what's coming. Obviously, every baby is different, so you, you might have a different baby. Another question is, what are some activities you do with your husband? Board games. Our number one thing is board games. I was never, ever a board game person. And I don't know how, but we just started loving board games. We started with Monopoly and then Monopoly Deal. Now we have a whole list of board games that we actually want to buy. So it's like our wish list on Amazon. Um, so we love playing those. If I can describe the perfect evening with my husband, it would be a, a very cold, rainy day, windy, like yesterday was really bad, with the slide door open and the screen door closed fireplace lit up some hot cocoa and some board games by the fireplace that's like perfect for us <laughs> we also love playing mini golf together and also um the games you see i forgot what they're called but they're like the indoor oh arcades i think they're game arcades like scandia um stuff like that we love going to those and playing together also did you ever struggle with insecurities about your body after giving birth I'm not going to say that I did. I do remember being shocked by some of the changes that my body went through with like during pregnancy and with having kids and postpartum and everything. One thing I'm not used to, however, and I know that that's totally normal with like most people, but like to have a small like stomach, I guess, I don't know, pooch or some loose skin around the stomach and hip area. I was very skinny. I was one of those people who never gained weight, no matter how much she ate, no matter what she ate. So yeah, I was one of those girls, and to me that was a little bit unusual, but I know it's like totally normal. I never really struggled. I do remember feeling like, man, I don't like this or that, but then like you get used to it. And, and also, um, I have started doing crunches recently, and by the way, for working out, that's the only thing I do. I don't have a chance to go to the gym right now. But right now, the only workout I have are crunches. So like if anyone gets unmotivated with workouts, like when you're doing workouts at home and you're, like, and you're not motivated, I think that it's a really good idea to just choose one workout that you think will be useful for you or that you really like and stick to just that one workout. It's really quick and easy. And at the same time, it gets your body moving and you're still like in shape. So it's really nice. I also really want to start running. I think it's a really good way to kind of refresh yourself and, and also get that cardio in. So we're out of topic here, but um, yeah. How do you stay motivated with housework? The first couple of months after she was born, like the first three months, I had zero motivation. I was not motivated at all. Most of the time, I would just sit with my baby girl in our rocking chair right across from where I'm standing and Sammy would be playing with his toys around me sometimes he would also climb up with us like zero motivation I'm just trying to get used to this um, new baby in our family what I've recently started doing and I was actually doing this before I even had her when I was still pregnant with her um, 
is podcasts number one podcast i have never heard of podcasts until well uh, 2018 this past year recently like a few months ago and you guys those are so amazing like i'll try and find and link some of my favorite ones down below but they they are so motivating and the amazing thing about them is that you know that you're not alone like you hear these other moms share their experiences and you're like wow I thought I was the only one who does this or I thought I was the only one this happens to but you're really not alone there's a ton of moms out there that experience the same thing that you do and like I think we just really need to find this mom community and stick to it because that's what helps us get through this mom life and that's what motivates us YouTube videos that are focused like in the cleaning area or housework or cooking or whatever I find that those are really motivating too sometimes I'm just sitting in my chair nursing my little girl and I turn on a cleaning video even though I'm just sitting there doing nothing and like you don't even realize how motivated you get all of a sudden you have this energy and you just kind of get up and you start cleaning while the video is playing and um, you guys it, it's seriously helpful like you should give it a try <laughs> and the third thing I want to mention is also sermons um, specifically sermons focusing on how to be a housewife or sermons on homemaking those I found to be really helpful for me too so those three things are what motivate me most in my homemaking I think listening to at least one a day or like watching one video a day I think that's really helpful and you kind of have to be consistent with this you have to stick to it and do it daily because with myself I notice when I start slacking that's when my motivation goes down and that's when um, I become kind of lazy so yeah consistency is important okay so next question what's your number one reason that made you want to start making videos on YouTube actually before I started making YouTube videos you guys I had no idea that there was this whole mom community on YouTube I had no idea people made such videos like it was a whole new world for me like obviously I knew all about YouTube but for me it was it was always more of like the music video stuff kind of like just some research here and there but it was never like this whole mom community and when I discovered that like it was really motivating and I realized I want to share my experiences also and I also want to document like these moments while my kids are still small because I know it's going to be really amazing to watch in the future and it's it's just it's just these little moments that you want to document next question how many kids do you want well um obviously I have to say how much however God blesses us with like I will accept it because because God gives life and God is the center of our home but the ideal for me is four kids two girls two boys that's like my ideal family is it hard to be mom of a toddler and a little one at the same time is there any time left for yourself Sammy is actually pretty chill most of the time because he knows how to play independently he can play independently for quite some time but then of course he has his days because he's a toddler and toddlers can be hard and Jessica obviously still needs me 24 7 so but there is time for myself of course um, if there wouldn't be time for myself I, I'd go crazy I think um, definitely it's either when um, they go down for a nap usually when Sammy goes down for his daily nap she goes like half an hour after him and I have some time for myself and also sometimes if I feel too overwhelmed my husband will give me some time for myself and he'll watch Sammy while Jessica's sleeping or he'll watch both of them together um, of course I can't wait till she's a little bit older because she's gonna because it's gonna be easier for me to get some time for me and it's gonna be easier for others to watch both of them together all right well that's all I have today Thank you guys so much for asking these questions. I really enjoyed reading through them and answering them for you guys. I hope you found this video useful and that you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye-bye.